Hey my friends, welcome to my channel, English with Terry. My name is Terry and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the difference between to go back and to come back. Okay, a lot of confusion for a lot of people and I hope in my video to completely explain the differences of when to use to go back and when to use to come back because I think they are the same verb in a lot of different languages. So let's go. English with Terry. So let me tell you about my story about my international experience. I am Irish, I come from Ireland and in March 2008 I traveled to Barcelona to learn Spanish and to live. Now my home country is Ireland, okay? And the concept of to go back is just to, to return to a place. Just think of this idea, to return to a place. To come back is to return to the same place. As in, when you are speaking to the person, to come back means that you will go to a different place and return to the same place. To go back simply means that you will return to a place where you have been. Now, I went to Barcelona in March 2008 to study in a language school and it was amazing. I had so much fun. And I arrived in Barcelona in March 2008 and I went back to Ireland in December 2008. So I stayed eight or nine months approximately. So the idea of to go back is kind of like to go home, to go back to the point of origin, go back to where you are from. And then to go back also has the idea of to return to a place you have already visited. If you visit an amazing city, amazing country, you say, I would love to go back. I live in Ireland now, but I like to go back to Spain to visit my friends when I have time and when I have money. But the idea of to go back to Spain means to visit a place I have already been. I have visited there. I lived there. So it's to return to a place I visited. Now my home country is Ireland. The second country here in this case is Spain. So I like to go back to Spain to visit my friends when I can. Now remember, March 2008, I arrived in Barcelona, I was in Spain. I needed to go back to Ireland. So I say, when I was in Barcelona, I can say, I'm going back to Ireland. To go home, to return to a point of origin, yeah? So I needed to go back to Ireland. So I was in Spain and I told my friends, I needed to go back to Ireland. Because after three weeks in Barcelona, I needed to go back to Ireland to do an exam. At the time, I was trying to enter university and I needed to do the Spanish exam in a high school here in Ireland and I needed to go back. So I'm going back to Ireland for one week, but I'm coming back to Spain next week, okay? So it's the concept of to go back to Ireland, return to home, home or point of origin, I'm going back to Ireland, but I'm coming back next week, is to return to the same place. So to really think about this, when I said, but I'm coming back next week, I was in Barcelona and I told my friends, I am going to go back to Ireland, but I'm going to return to the same place here in Barcelona. I'm going to come back. Now, the most common problem is, when students or people learning English are visiting a different country or they're living in a different country. If you manage, if you can imagine a Spanish person living in Dublin, Ireland or in England and they make this mistake. They say, I come back to my country next week. Now, this doesn't make sense because you say, I'm, you need to say, I'm going back to my country. So to come back is to return to the same place. To go back is to return to a place you have been before or your point of origin or your home. When you are a di in a different country, you say, I am going back to my country, not I am coming back to my country. Because if you are in a different country and you tell a person, I'm coming back, this means that you will leave the same place with that person, go back to a different point, but return to the same place where you told the person, I'm coming back. It's like when you need a break, you are in a, in a class or you're in university, you know, and you, you leave the class, you say, no, it's okay, I'm coming back in two minutes, as you will return to the same place. 
So to come back to Spain means I am in Spain now. To go back to Spain means I am outside of Spain, not in the same place. Now back is an adjective. It sort of, we can use it in expressions like to be back, or I am back from my holiday, or I will be back soon. But the verb to back doesn't exist. I see some students having a little confusion with this. Because I need to back to my house. I need to go back to my house. Okay, just be careful with this point. Or I need to be back in work in an hour. Okay, guys, I hope this was useful. Please click like if you liked the video and share with your friends. Help me grow on YouTube. Help me reach my message of grammar and pronunciation to more people on, on this platform. If you would like a free video course that tells you all about how to have amazing fluency strategies, just click the link below and you will find an amazing free video course that I talk about all my experiences as a linguist and how I learn four languages and how you can do it too. It's free, just click on the link. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Terry, this is English with Terry, and I'll see you guys in the next video.